1973, after completing an extensive survey of extragalactic radio sources, Ohio State University assigns the Big Ear Radio Telescope to the scientific research for the extraterrestrial intelligence. In short, SETI. In August 15, 1977, while examining the data from the telescope scan of the skies, astronomer Jerry R. Ehrman is startled when he came across a vertical column with the alphanumeric sequence SEQUJ5. The signal was in fact so remarkable that Ehrman circled it on the computer printout and writing VO in the margin. This alphanumeric sequence observed by the Ehrman SEQUJ5 represented the intensity variation of the radio signal over time, with each digit representing the intensity of the signal from 0 to 35, with intensities over 9 being represented by letters. The entire signal sequence lasted for the full 72 seconds that the Big Ear satellite was able to observe it for and was 30 times greater than the ordinary ambient noise of deep space. Scientists were also puzzled when they traced the signal to the Sagittarius constellation in a spot where there apparently were no stars or planets. Several attempts were made by Ehman as well as by other astronomers to detect and identify the signal. However, the VOW signal has not appeared since its discovery, leaving many SETI researchers believing that the most likely explanation for the signal was from an extraterrestrial source. It's hypothesis that extraterrestrial would use a radio signal, since such transmission require relatively little energy to generate and can travel huge distances across space. The VOW signal, which emitted a frequency of 1420 MHz, is also the same frequency that the chemical hydrogen emits. CT researchers believe that since hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, extraterrestrials would send out a signal that mimicked it. Various hypotheses on the source of the emission have been put forward, although the possibility of a natural origin has not been completely dismissed. It's still a possibility that the Vogue signal was an astrophysical phenomena of which we have never seen before, or maybe it truly was an intercepted alien signal. In 2012, on the 35th anniversary of false signal, Arcebo Observatory beamed a response from humanity containing 10,000 Twitter messages in the direction from which the signal originated from. The VOW signal, as it has become to be known to SETI researchers, remains both the first and best potential evidence of communication from extraterrestrials and one of the most perplexing mysteries in science. If you like our content, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be updated when we post a new content. Till that time, may the force be with you.